Away from that story, Akwaibom State Government has announced 21st October 2024 as date to officially launch the Arise Youth Employment Portal to begin recruitment of unemployed and underemployed citizens of the state. Senior Special Assistant to the State Governor on Information and Communication Technology, Mr. Frank Ekweyong, during a pre-launch media engagement at Government House Press Center, Uyo, stressed that this system will ensure recruitment of only qualified candidates. Here is ADBN's correspondent, Mary Onyemechi, with the story. In appreciation for not joining the End Bad Governance protest, Pastor Umo Ino had promised to reward the youths by creating job opportunities using an employment portal. Mr. Frank Ekbeyong, who emphasized the launch of the employment portal, a collaborative effort with the Ministry of Labor and Manpower Planning, said it aims to empower the unemployed, underemployed, and disabled citizens in the state by matching them with opportunities in line with their unique skill sets. He highlighted that the portal also offers financial support to registered individuals by allowing private companies to search, advertise, and hire qualified youths. You know, the employer would select. This job I'm offering does involve training, and I want the training to be monitored. The system can do that. What do I mean? For example, the guy is turning up, you know, at Azak to be trained. Some people might turn up for, you know, and just get paid at the end of the month. They don't really attend the training. The system won't allow that. Unfortunately, you need to be there and take attendance using the system so that you could be paid. Something I left out, this is in conjunction with the Ministry of Labor and Manpower Planning. So it means that any payment part, for example, the 50,000 government, the government is paying 5,000 persons, will be done automatically, it will be done digitally. It's not, it's not a fiscal cash transfer. So we've linked, we've used uh, different payment operators to make sure that happens at the background. To ensure every candidate has a single account, Mr. Epeyong stated the verification protocol criteria needed to make one eligible to include national identification number, email, bank details, while assuring candidates that your personal information would be protected. If you don't meet a certain threshold of attendance, which was set by your employer, you know, you will not be paid. So things like that system, you know, does it and manages it. Then every candidate you'll soon see would have a unique uh, profile number, UPN, randomized alphanumeric number, you know, just to identify you, uh, you know, uh, to use. I should stress here, we do not pay for a private firm. You know, we only pay for government grants using the Ministry of, you know, Labor and, and, and Manpower Planning. I should stress that. In his remarks, the Chief Press Secretary to the Governor, Mr. Ekerete Udo, commended the state's governor for prioritizing the well-being of citizens, which he said demonstrates the governor's commitment to ensuring citizens have access to opportunities. About a week and a half ago, the, the governor had also, in his statewide broadcast to the people of the state, emphatically stated that the full mechanics of governance would run at full swing. Everything would be done seamlessly. And uh, so far, that, is, that has been going on. Governance is moving at full swing, seamless. Everything is on point, even though we are um, aggrieved. We are, we, are, we are mourning, but the mechanics of governance continues to run seamlessly. The meeting was attended by the media consultant to the governor, Honorable Anyekan Umana, Senior Special Assistant to the Governor on Research and Documentation, Dr. Esien Ndreso, amongst other media aides of the Governor. Mary Onyemechi, ADBN News.